Blood Hook from 1986. Somebody's killing people with this huge fishing lure that everybody in town seems to have. Theme song. I am continuing to release two reviews every week all throughout October in part of my Octubular Spectacular Scoop Spookiness. So please like and subscribe. I'm trying to get 300 subs. Please help me out. If you want to watch Bloodhook, check the links in the description below. Back in high school, my friends and I, we watched this movie and we loved it. Partially because we couldn't tell if it was supposed to be funny or not. Now that I've rewatched it 20 years later, I'm still not sure. So Bloodhook is about, there's a guy, he inherits a house on a lake in a fishing community. And so him and the city fe feller, city slicker friends go up there. And it's part of a big, um, festival and so there's tons of people in town and somebody starts killing people so one of the things that makes it hard to tell if it's supposed to be funny or not is the fact that the killer uses this huge fishing lure i'm not an expert on fish but i'm like for a lake you're not i don't think you're going to use a fishing lure that's like a foot long and because it is sort of at least nominally a horror movie. It does have red herrings fishing huh? to try and keep you guessing who the killer is. So it seems like everyone in town has this foot long fishing lure. So we're like, is it supposed to be funny? Is that, is that the joke? We don't know. Uh, the film also has other great scenes where again, like, is it supposed to be funny or is it just bad writing and acting? There's a line that we, me and my friends, quoted for years. Turns out, not entirely correctly, where they get to there and <laughs> the guy starts messing with the wood pile. They got, don't mess with their wood. What's that racket? Rodney, what are you doing? You crazy? Hell yes, he's crazy. All of you crazy. What are you doing here? Guess who, Pop? The Van Cleese kid. Rodney, you can't go around messing with other people's wood. They got rules up here. And then there's a scene later on when a guy, he's kind of like crazy conspiracy theory dude. He's talking and the camera is behind him. So you're looking at the room and you see the guy walking directly on camera towards the dude. He got, and this dude has like a hearing aid. So that maybe is why his acting is so... Brr. He's like, shut up. And then the conspiracy theory guy's like, don't sneak up on me, man. I'm not square dancing with you people. Look at me. We're talking. Hey, boy. Shut up. None of that's got a thing to do with why you're a bum. Why didn't you tell me about old man Van Cleef now? Go ahead. Tell me your tough guy story again. You piss me off. You know that. And don't sneak up on me. But you, he came right at you. How, how did he sneak up? Um. Another part that makes me wonder if it's supposed to be funny or not is they find that what is making the person go crazy and kill people is the sounds of the cicadas. And he's like, it's the devil's tone. And so he plays a note on the keyboard that's supposed to be the note of the cicadas. Cicadas are high pitched. He plays a low pitch sound. The cicadas. Evil and the cicadas, I remember hearing the cicadas, just like this. And then the singer hit that high B flat. Man, what are you talking about? This, it's the devil's tritone, the Diabolus and Musica. Classical music outlawed it for centuries because it made people crazy. I'm like, is it supposed to be like two octaves lower or is it just bad? I don't know. And... So doing a little bit of research, looking at the extras on the on the, the Blu-ray, one thing that makes it likely it's meant to be funny is that it was directed and co-written by Jim Mallon. 
he would go on to be one of the co-creators of Mystery Science Theater 3000. So that's one thing in favor of it's supposed to be funny. But on the other hand, in the interview on the Blu-ray, he doesn't actually say, we were trying to make a comedy. So I still don't know if it's supposed to be funny or not. What I do know is it's a great movie. The characters are fun. The acting, you know, I said some of the acting is kind of bad, but one of the actresses who's like a single mom, she's actually pretty good. Sadly, she didn't seem to have done much else. So that's kind of, you know, that's looks seemed like she had some talent. Uh, the kills are actually pretty good as well. So that's also another one in the category for it meant to be serious. And the idea is actually a pretty good hook. <laughs> I'll be giving blood hook four thumbs up. Funny, serious, it doesn't matter to me. I love it. Blood hook. Also love it if you liked and subscribe.